there are a lot of um, underlying factors that might lead someone to get TB. Poverty. It's a disease of poverty. So I would say if you get rid of poverty in the world, not only would you get rid of TB, you get rid of a lot of other diseases, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Underlying stress, it has a link with HIV, human immunodeficiency. Um, if you are lacking in vitamin D, then you are more likely to get TB. Um, living in crowded conditions, high population density in cities and towns allows the bacteria to be transmitted from person to person more readily. And various jobs, various work will predispose people to TB, not only working with animals, um, but with their products. And here we've got a tanning area, so working with skins from animals. And if they're infected with TB, then potentially <coughs> that could be transmitted to humans. And the, the bacteria can survive for quite some time, depending on the environment outside the human body. It's very much associated with mining as well, um, because miners are, you know, pa you've got particulate pollution in the mines. Um, it, the, the pollution actually irritates the lungs and makes them weaker, and therefore a person's more likely to pick up TB if it's around. And migrant populations are very prone to have tuberculosis. They're often living in poverty. Uh, they don't have a good diet, which is very much related to the immune system and therefore the immune system strength is not as great as it could be. Therefore, they may pick up TB.